Hi guys, this is Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey Olympia, Washington, your local Seattle Tacoma chiropractor. Um, today we're going to talk about, or the title of this video is knee pain and more especially the kneecap. And this can be divided into four components, the front, the back, the inside, and the outside of the knee. And each of these areas interact with each other. The compartment located in the front of the knee includes the kneecap or the patella and the groove that it slides and the muscles that attach to it. The patella is the largest floating bone called the sesamoid bone and it functions as kind of a pulley that fully, when the knee is fully and easily extended. This area is referred to an extensor type mechanism. It's responsible for extending and straightening the knee. When there's full extension and this is accomplished, there can be often what's referred to as an extension leg or a flexion contraction. This leg is, or this leg, L-A-G, extension leg, is often um, caused by weakness of the quadriceps, mainly the VMO or what we call the vastus medialis oblique. And depending on what causes this weakness, uh, this problem can be very important in regaining the, abil uh, the ability to fully lock out or extend that knee, uh, which is important. Flexion contraction results in the ability, inability to extend or straighten out the knee, but this is uh, due to usually muscle weakness or a shortening contraction of the flexion of the knee, most, expect, um, most notably, let's see, the hamstrings area that is behind the leg and uh, and this can affect the knee as well um, and this usually happens when people do a lot of sitting or bed bound laying around a lot and this can cause permanent impairment of the hamstrings when when not properly stretched or utilized on a, a more common basis another problem associated with the patella is a softening there's a cartilage behind the kneecap and this is called CP or chondromalacia patella. Once this symptom associated with CP, you'll often feel like a burning pain in the front of the knee, right in front of that kneecap, especially when you're bending over for long periods of time. People that tend to uh, do work on their knees or gardening or uh, tile or floors, these symptoms can be very intense, but it usually improves if you change your position by simply standing up and walking around. That can be uh, quite a big difference in there. The shape of the patella is also an indicator, you know, because that will affect how it moves in that depth of the groove. Both of those things can alter the gliding, and this can be affected by trauma or genetic type problems that have been. So this is a predisposition and changing that compartment of the knee. A common genetic example is excessively knock knees, where the knees come together. We call this genu valgus. This results in a rubbing of the patella on the outer portion or the uh, ridge or the femoral groove, which can be really painful. You know, doctors of chiropractic are trained to assess, diagnose, and treat patients with knee pain. Uh, a lot of manual therapies, manipulations, stretching techniques, modalities, exercises, orthotics that can also improve foot and ankle conditions that are often related to that. So, you know, give our office a call if you're having knee pain or even, even sometimes application of a brace or proper taping can definitely help with your knee pain. I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic in Lacey Olympia, Washington. Thank you for watching our video on knee pain and the kneecap. I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you soon. Watch for our next video. Go to some of our other videos on our website at drdavidwarwick.com. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.